All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So finally got my lens in here. Uh, this is for my Sony A7C. Uh, if you don't know, a, a couple of months back or just almost two months back, I switched to full frame. I sold uh, my uh, A6100 and I wanted to incorporate full frame into my channel because the A7C is probably going to be the smallest, most affordable full frame camera on the market at the moment when I bought it. Um, I'm sure that'll change. I'm sure there'll be other small full frame cameras that come out. Uh, but right now, Sony's autofocus system to me is just the best. So this is the way uh, the lens comes to you brand new. I bought this brand new. You can grab this for $900 on Sony's website. Sometimes they're on sale for $800. And if you have like student discounts or military discounts, you can get it for even lower than that. Uh, so um, this is the box. So let's crack it open here. Uh, I want to see, open it with you. This is how it comes. So, uh, you know, being full frame, this is probably why it's, you get all these goodies. Now, these manuals and all this stuff, I'll never read it. Uh, but it looks like it comes in a nice pouch. Oh, wow. So, is this what the full frame life is like? Let's put this out of the way here. This is, uh, this is nice. Uh, so, this is the way it comes in a nice leather carrying pouch. You got a uh, hood, hood uh, a lens hood on there, which I probably won't use this time around. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't, even, I don't even really know the right time to use the lens hood. Wow, I can feel that thing moving around in there. Fantastic. Let's put all this in here. Uh, nice case here. So um, the lens itself, as you can see here, uh, you've got click on and off. That just means it'll make sound when you're changing like this. And if you have the click on, it's going to want to point that out right away. Because I did some research on this lens and I thought, what does it click for? But that is why. So if you want smooth uh, moving between apertures, uh, that's all that you that's all that you're doing there. So you can see it goes all the way from 22 to 1.8, which is where I will live. As you can see, this is the G lens here, and you've got the f 1.8 to 20, uh, and it's autofocus and manual focus. So that is important. Uh, let's take a look at the lens itself. Ooh, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. We're going to pop it on the on the camera in just a moment uh, and uh, give you some, show, compare the footage from my current kit lens. Now, the kit lens that I'm using on the Sony a7C right now, it is the new kit lens, the 28 to 60. And that footage is absolutely fantastic, folks. The, the, the footage on there is just stellar. So this is obviously what the backside of the lens looks like. You've got the um, uh, metal ring in there. It looks like you probably got some weatherproofing too. Uh, but uh, this is what the lens looks like. It's not a, it's not as big as I thought it was either. Let me grab some of my other lenses real fast here. Here are two other lenses that I have that are Sony mount. Um, obviously, you know I use the Sigma, and this is how big it is next to the Sigma. It's a little bit smaller than the Sigma 16. Um, I'm, I've mounted this up to my, my A7C, but I wanted to have a, a, a real full frame camera. I wanted to get the experience and uh, the equivalent of 35 millimeter. It's going to be so nice, man. Um, this is going to be beautiful, but you can see how it is a little bit shorter in size. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter in weight too. Uh, and then I also have uh, a Viltrox. Uh, this is their 23 millimeter lens here. Um, and obviously the Viltrox is a little, a lot smaller. Uh, again, these are made for um, non full frame cameras, uh, uh, APC cameras, and, and I've sold all of those. These will work on full frame cameras, but you just don't get the, the just of it and you end up creating some kind of crop. Uh, and, and you can go into a thir uh, 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 35. I keep it on auto, but I don't plan on using any of these lenses full time on my camera. I'm going to stay with full frame. And then you have the hold here as well. So let's put this on the cameraman. And I am so ready to put this on. I'm telling you. So Lil, let's see the difference uh, right now. All right. So um, yeah, here is the lens. We are going to pop this on. Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm really hoping I get better quality from this kit lens. Uh, I'm sure I will, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, investing in the glass is really where you get the true quality. So first, first time seeing this right now, let's go ahead and take a look at it together. All right, here it is. Now I've, uh, moved the camera into the spot that I would normally vlog in. This is my, uh, I have it mounted on one of my magic arms, uh, just connected to my overhead rig. Just, 
I have a pretty good setup here for vlogs and then top down, spoon, whatever I need to do. Uh, so here's the lens. Now there's obviously, I'm sitting a lot closer to the lens. <laughs> I'm sitting close to the lens, but look, if I'm be honest, this is where I was sitting normally. Uh, and there is so much more interview, but I don't need to sit this far away from the lens. So I moved it up and, um, cause I initially shot, uh, uh, this, this portion of the video and I thought, wow, this is a lot in view. Uh, and I had the camera lens over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that snippet in this video where I initially had this at, but I wanted to go ahead and shoot where I'm going to actually vlog from. So, uh, my initial thoughts on this, I, I had it on a tripod, uh, and I had it out where I started the video at, or, you know, kind of before I put the lens on and it, it's just a whole bunch in view and I don't need that much in view. So again, show you that what it looks like. Uh, I like this view right here with just enough in there's still a lot in view, but at the same time you, you get a, a really good quality. Now the kit lens, um, that they have here, this is the kit lens. This is Sony's latest kit lens, which is the 28 to 60. Uh, and this kit lens is highly recommended by me. Uh, I'll put up a snippet of the kit lens next to this lens right now. I'm just going to grab a video uh, and just put them side by side so you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the kit lens is a fantastic lens, but when it comes to a vlog, you really want to have your best quality. And it's, this kit lens is one of the best kit lenses I've ever used. And if I'm being honest, it's kind of close to the G to the, uh, the 20 millimeter, but Nowhere near as close when it comes to field of view and the real crispness. The autofocus is great. Let me pop up some things for autofocus. Look at that. That's fantastic. Fantastic. I'm just holding up things that are on my desk here. The different tones of things. Um, let's grab my iPhone here. It really produces these colors perfectly, folks. Wow, that is the exact color of that case. Um, Let's grab, oh, I can't show you that yet. We'll grab this. Yeah, the focus is fantastic. Eye tracking is fo focuses on my, f it's all there folks. This lens is stupendous. So I'm gonna go outside and we'll test the internal microphones on this thing. Uh, and then we'll come back out and close out uh, and uh, we'll, we'll show you the device. Um, I'll show you the camera off of the tripod, I'll, I'll give it a top down shot and show you the lens with the camera combination so you can get a feel of how big it is, the weight and size and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep rolling here. <sighs> All right guys, I'm out here in the bright sunlight and I've, I've never tested the microphones on the camera itself. And uh, so this is the first test for that too. I don't plan on, I do have an external microphone, a Boya mic, but I don't plan on using the Boya mic um, because I have other microphones that I use inside for vlogging. Uh, but I wanted to see how this lens is gonna do outside in this super bright daylight. And also, I'm not holding the camera very far from me at all. It's just less than a less than two feet or maybe a foot away from my face, and this lens is still has a, a bunch in view. So um, as I walk here, I was just kind of checking the viewfinder because this uh, this camera has a flip out lens uh, and this gives you some sense of you know what it's going to be like. I do have it on my Sony tripod, the little handheld Sony tripod. I do have it on there. So um, shooting at f1.8 is where I plan to stay. Uh, but um, I'm pretty happy overall so far uh, with the quality that I saw in my office. Now when I go back in the office, I'll adjust the lens a little closer because that's more in view that I actually want and then that'll bring me even better quality because this isn't a zoom lens, but there's a way you can use prime lenses as zoom lenses. But what I'm gonna do is just move the tripod in the position that I want. So let's go back inside because it is a hundred degrees out here. Whew. All right, so outside, as I thought, you know, the external microphones picking up a lot more wind. I didn't make any that many adjustments to the, I just wanted to shoot it and see how loud it would be for outside. If it wasn't windy, these microphones on this camera are actually really good, man. I mean, I have no complaints about the camera's microphones for a change. Some um, internal microphones on cameras are crap. They're just not good, but they have two of them facing you on here. This one looks like, and so they sound really good. Stereo microphones, you can't beat that. So. Um, before we get out of here, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the, uh, like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and show you the camera uh, from that top down portion so you can really get a feel for it. So um, let's, let's, let's keep going. All right, guys. So here we are 
uh, this is actually uh, another day. Uh, I started filming this. I've actually been using this lens for um, maybe about 24 hours or a little over, a little over 24 hours. Uh, and I wanted to show you different places that I would vlog. So I vlogged outside with the um, the internal microphones. And this is the internal microphones with a gain to about 20. Uh, and there's a fan going above me. And there's probably going to be a little bit of an echo in here. So I do have, I have somewhat control over the light. It is very sunny outside. So if I open up the blinds behind me as I stand in my living room, uh, it, it'll get a lot brighter. But I actually like this tone right here, or I like the way this setting looks. Uh, the only thing I would do is just hope that these microphones would perform well with this vlog. Now this lens, I'm standing very close to the camera and obviously I'm on my standing tripod. I have a tripod that extends about seven feet or eight feet uh, and it's really nice. It's nice to have a nice vlogging setup. So I'm very comfortable uh, and I just think the 20 millimeter lens in the right setting, like if I were outside on a shaded time of the day, this lens would, it would just be flawless. Too much sunlight for me when you're filming video kind of messes up the video. So you want to have the sun behind you when you're filming with a phone, whatever. Uh, but with a lens like this, I would want to capture a, a not so bright time outside. And I think that just looking at the viewfinder, look at the quality that we're getting here. And look, also listen to the quality of these internal microphones. So um, I do have the Boya mic up there. I normally vlog with the Boya mic when I'm away from my office because obviously I have condenser mics in there that I can link to the camera and uh, get that really deep tone in my voice. But there's probably an echo with these internal mics. But this is about the lens. What do you think about this quality coming from this lens? I think that it is flawless, man. I've been, again, taking photos. And photos is something that I want to talk about, too. I took a photo yesterday. Uh, and boy, I could see the gray hairs in my head and I could also see where I'm going bald even more. Uh, it's incredible how the, and it was no fil no edits, no tweaks, nothing to the photo. It's just me standing. I think I was standing right here and I took a photo and wow, you could see all the great, when I zoom in, you can see new gray hairs coming in. It is incredible the quality that you can get from this lens for photos. This is a killer lens. And, I, you know, I could go out on a limb and say, you know what? I think this is probably going to be the best situation for vlogs. Now, in my office, I'm still trying to find that groove of how I want to vlog. Uh, and um, I would vlog outside more, but I like privacy. And even though the neighbors aren't too close, I don't like for people to hear what I'm saying. And I'm not a... I can't, I can't walk around in public and vlog. You know, I just, I have this the Sony uh, joint here, which I use frequently if I'm holding uh, a camera, but I don't know that I could vlog, <laughs> just walk down the street vlogging. I, it, it have to be, I'll have to be alone. Uh, and it's not about being shy, because I'm totally not shy. I just don't want people knowing what I'm saying. Private, I would say. But nonetheless, vlogs, folks. I am very close to this camera. So if you wanted to do a, um, a lavalier setup, this will be it because this, this lens, if I just take a cup, just one step back, that was just one step. And obviously I wear a size, tw uh, size 13, so that's a big step. But look at how much difference it is. And also take a listen to the microphones on the camera. But look at how much difference it is in, in view. This 20 millimeter is sick. And also look at how crisp it still looks. Let me take a step forward again. Boom, we are back into where I would consider a good spot to vlog. And I'm checking the viewfinder here. Let me get my glasses because it's kind of blurry. Yeah, I need to clean my glasses. You know what? This 20 minute lens is sick. And my intentions were to kind of do it all in one day. But here we are on day two, man. You see, I got my other shirt on. I wear these shirts every now and then. Um, and by the way, I set up some new shirts and uh, Teespring has run out of product because of COVID. So I was going in to order more shirts because I was going to do a giveaway of the new shirts that I got. Uh, and uh, they're out of materials, they tell me. So hopefully the shirts will come back in stock and I'll have my new shirts that I'll be able to rock out with. So this camera lens is it's just absolutely fantastic. It's fantastic. What a great camera combination to vlog with. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my RB9 here because I'm back in my office um, and doing a standing type vlog, and, but I wanna control the lighting. So I'm gonna pop on this RB9 here. And I think what you're gonna notice is that controlled lighting is so much better. So I'm gonna keep rolling here because I'm still using the internal microphones. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go into the application here. I fire it up. Whoa, look at that. I can turn the, <laughs> I need to get this turned down to about 14%. This is controlled lighting uh, at its best. So if you, if you don't have any of these lights, man, they are stupendous for shooting video. So I can get the tones down the way I want to. I can change this down. That's about 4,900 uh, at about 14%. And these lights are, that's about 11%. Uh, and these lights are just, whoa, they are great for vlogs. And, you know, using the internal microphones as I listen to that audio uh, before I posted this next portion, it's not bad at all. The, the internal microphones are actually really great. Uh, but they'll, they, to me, still using an external microphone is going to be the best way because there's no use of you getting this very expensive setup. Uh, camera 2100, lens 900 or 800 if you can get it on sale, or the camera on sale when you can get it on sale. There's no reason for you to buy this expensive setup and not use external audio. Uh, I just think you'll, you'll get a much better feel uh, for your vlog, and I just think it's going to be a heck of a lot better. Now, let's go back over to the desk. Let me sit down, and uh, let's kind of close this out. All right, so um, I'm back here uh, just sitting here where I normally shoot vlogs. Um, man, it feels good. To, on a side note, it feels good not to sit in that big old gaming chair. Uh, it's just not comfortable after a while. So I got a got a new chair to, for lumbar support and just it just feels great Anyway, um, yeah, this is this is the vlogging position here. I'm still working on the lighting trying to get the lighting where I want it to be um, But um, back on the professional condenser mic or the professional microphone I should say my condenser mic is, is off to the left. I have it hooked to the Mac mini But this is the Yeti X that you're listening to right now. I'm um, in between um, whether or not I'm gonna buy the Road NTG, I've been getting some recommendations on that. And then there's another mic that I was considering from Sennheiser. So, but this Yeti X has done me well over the years for linking it to my camera. Uh, and the audio is right. As long as you can get the position of your microphone correct uh, and get it to where it's grabbing your voice, uh, you, you should, this audio should be fine for you. I mean, spend your money how you want to spend it. Uh, but um, I'm really considering uh, changing to a shotgun mic uh, and, uh, and you know, it's on the table. Uh, so, uh, let's now finally take a look. I mean, this is, even, I got a true story. Even that first part of me, like when I first came back, when I had this black shirt on, here we are. This is at least two hours later. I had to run out, go to my appointment. <laughs> uh, you know, shooting a video, there's no rush. You just kind of film when you can film, but, uh, this is a vlog. So I've got this all set up. Now I'm going to actually finally show you uh, the camera and the lens together and the video will be closed out. I shot that portion already and I'm just kind of blending this into it. But uh, I hope you've been enjoying this this coverage for this new lens of mine, the 20 millimeter um, F1.8 G lens from F1.8 G lens from, from Sony. I like this quality so much and it just kind of reminds me of what I've been missing up until this point. Now again, not taking away from all the other lenses and things like that. I just think this lens is superb vlogging because of the focal length and you have a lot more range to work with and the quality is just crazy so now let's finally close this out this has been a lengthy video but it is a vlog so let's take a look at the setup itself all right guys so i want to close out by showing you the setup the camera itself uh, obviously this is the kit lens right here this is the one that you if you decide to get a kit lens a lot of people don't buy kit lenses but i highly recommend this lens if you don't want to dish out too much cash because in reality this lens costs 500 dollars if you buy it separately so it's up to you to determine how you want to do it but you know i say get it as a kit i always say grab the kit lens you never know what you'll need to hold you over but for me, I decided to go ahead and upgrade my uh, quality here with the 20 millimeter G lens from Sony. Uh, this is just one of the best things I've done for myself. Uh, and I really like how it feels. That was my first time using the microphones on the camera itself. So I was pretty impressed with that. Yeah, they don't cancel out wind very well, but I can buy some of those wind muffs that you stick on. I actually have, actually, I actually have some in my storage. You can stick these little wind muffs over top of there and it'll help uh, cancel out some of the sound. 
Uh, but the quality is fantastic. It's it's way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought the Sigma lens on my on my A6100 did great quality, and it did. However, full frame has a different color science to it. It just it just looks so much more natural, and there's blur on it, but it's not a lot of blur, you know. And you can control that uh, by changing the aperture, but it's just something about the my my experience so far with full frame it's only been a couple of months i believe since i switched to full frame and this is my full first full frame lens and hopefully it won't be my last i mean but i'm just vlogging so i don't know why i would buy another lens unless this one you know i, I don't know i don't know i'm not gonna make any plans i just know that this is my setup for now i stuck with the sigma 16 millimeter with the a6100 i thought that was great but now i would say that i've definitely moved to something a lot better uh and and it's really nothing like full frame most of the creators online, they uh, apparently they use the A7 III or the A7S III. Now, the A7S III is a $4,000 camera, ultimately. Uh, and the A7 III, you can get it for the same price as this camera. I would just tell you, go with this camera because of how big the A7, uh, A7 III is compared to this one. And then you're getting a, a new their latest device. And whatever little tweaks they have, you get to experience them firsthand. Even if you don't know what they are, you'll give yourself time to grow into this camera. Uh, and... Uh, most creators online probably are using way more than they, they need just to shoot a YouTube video. And I'm now one of those people. Uh, this is, I'm not going to say this is overkill, but for the way that, uh, the way I want to present myself online, I want to look crystal clear and clean and when I'm vlogging. And this is what I chose to go with. This lens right here, again, I have a link down below to the lens if you decide to pick it up. And it'll probably be on, it's on sale too, I believe right now. You won't pay 900, uh, but um, I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. Uh, but this lens is totally worth it for me, man. I mean, um, I am I couldn't be happier uh, with with buying this lens right here. Um, I'm gonna probably always shoot at at f 1.8. That'll probably be my spot. Uh, and I'm actually considering picking up another body only and then using this kit lens for shooting all of my content uh, for top down shots. Uh, you know, that's just a personal preference. Uh, I know it's kind of lazy when I can just swap these off and just change them out. Uh, but we shall see. I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do right now, but that is something that I'm considering because I want everything to be full frame. Uh, I have I had two uh, cameras that were uh, APC, uh, and now if I can be fortunate enough to get another body like this at a good price, I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to put this lens on there, and that'll be great top-down shots for you guys with the zoom lens, man. So if you heard jiggling outside, it was these when I was vlogging outside. It was just these. I haven't taken them off yet. I need to get those off. Uh, but ultimately folks it's your choice um if you want super quality uh and and the one of the latest cameras that sony's bringing out this one definitely is a great combination i'm happy that i went full frame i went from cell phone to no i went from point and shoot to really high quality cell phone to um dslr to mirrorless camera to dslr to mirrorless camera then mirrorless camera sony uh a6100 and then mirrorless camera full frame sony with my first full frame lens i'm excited and i hope that um uh, and I've, I've taken you guys advice over the years for for changes audio everything i i've been i've been i listen you know so here it is this is the setup i uh, don't be surprised if i have another body uh, <laughs> i probably i don't know if I would well i guess i could tell you guys i had another body but that's my plan for now to get another body and put this with it and have it for all top down shots it's your man jay hope you guys enjoyed it has finally come that I am officially a G.